Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and today I wanna to talk to you about baby wearing in a knit wrap. I love baby wearing. I'm gonna get into why, how, where to buy wraps for the cheapest, what brands I love, and all of that. But first, I just wanna say thank you for watching my video. Me and Noah, Rio and my husband, my grandma, everyone really appreciates that you watch my videos. So make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know what other videos you would like to see. And thank you for subscribing and watching. First, before I get into all of that, let me say baby wearing might not be for everybody. It is absolutely for me. I love the hands-free freedom it brings me as a mom, but I totally still use a stroller for exercising or in other scenarios, and that might be what's best for you. But if you're here watching this video, chances are you're thinking baby video might be for you. So let's talk about why I love it so much. I love it because Newborn babies want to feel close to their mom. They want that heartbeat, they want that security. It feels nice and tight like the womb. I have never met a newborn baby that doesn't like a baby wrap. I hear people say all the time that like, oh, my baby hated it. They might have been hot or you were probably doing it wrong or maybe you waited too long to introduce the wrap. But if you start when they're a newborn, they're gonna love it and you, I promise, will learn to love it as well. It's easier for mom. For me, it like relieves guilt. We're like, oh, I should just be cuddling with my baby, but I really need to do the dishes or whatever it is. I get to do both of those things with the baby wrap. I love it, she loves it, it's the best. And then beyond just those obvious things, I love that it's better for her health. And what I mean by that is, uh, my husband and I both hold positions at our church. It's literally our job to like know people and talk to them on Sundays. And if you're going and you're talking to someone and you have a cute baby, Chances are they're gonna wanna touch your baby. They are unaware of how filthy, dirty, germy their hands are. And if you're in a baby carrier, they're probably gonna stick their hand into that baby carrier and touch their hands or rub their cheek and all those cute things, which, you know, as new moms, especially during flu season and COVID and all the world of germs, we don't want that. So in a baby carrier, it's a lot more invasive. People aren't usually reaching into my chest area to touch my baby's face. They might go, oh, she's losing a sock. Let me put it back on. Or they might pat her butt or whatever, but they're not reaching into the carrier. In fact, I've had people at church tell me like, I've never seen your baby's face or your baby awake or really funny things like that. And I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and beyond that, uh, a baby carrier is actually a lot better for your baby's spine, back, and hips than sitting in a car seat for extended periods of time. Obviously, you can't wear this on a road trip, but if I'm going into a store, I'm going to church, I'm going on a walk, I'm doing things, I'm going to bring her in this versus keeping her in the stroller or clicking my stroller on or clicking the car seat onto a stroller or something like that because it relieves that pressure that's going to be laying on their back for that extended period of time. And you want to make sure and you keep the baby's legs in the perfect M so her hips and all of that are in the right position. And on that note, we're a little weird on the floor right now, uh, but you want to be sure you can kiss your baby's head. She's actually a little low right now, but we're on the floor. So you want to be sure you can kiss your baby's head and you should be able to see your baby's nose. If they're so high, you can't see their nose and you can't comfortably kiss their face. They're probably not comfortable and probably not in the optimal positioning. This is kind of controversial, but per chiropractic pediatric recommendations, you should be wearing your baby facing inward to at least six months. And there's not really many holds that I would recommend turning your baby outside in a knit wrap. They're just not that sturdy for it. They're more of that cuddle, pull in snug fit. The last thing is kind of funny, but my hair is the worst length that just like stabs her in the face right now. So I usually wear my hair uh, up or I'm constantly throwing it over my shoulders. With my first son, my hair was a lot longer and it wasn't as big of a problem, but just a random thing to consider is how your baby is always pulling hair and it's in their face and they're covered in hair and ooh, she finally fell asleep. Okay, so let's get into the most just like classic hold. You get put on your stomach and then trade hands in the back. So I have traded hands and then you're gonna bring it up like a backpack. Oops. And you're gonna just take it and bring it up like a backpack strap. Then you take these two guys and you're gonna put them through here. And then you're gonna make an X, just cross them X, go around again, trade hands so that you're making another X technically. And then you're gonna tie it in the front. And if you have enough left over, you could go again or you could just tie it off here. And I usually do kind of a bow cause it's easier to tuck. But I have this model baby here. So you take your baby, start them up kind of higher. You wanna make sure you have a good secure hold on them. Take one leg and put it inside one side and I stretch it out all the way over their butt. 
And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Take the leg and put it in the strap. Stretch it out all the way over their butt. Tuck this in if you want. Then you're gonna find that one like belt that's going across, not the knot, but the belt, and put both legs in and pull that up as kind of a final layer of support. And you can get the butt tucked in there good. If it's cold, I like to pull both of them down. And you have your baby in a nice little wrap. I can kiss her, I can see her nose. You can move this over because she always eats it. And then if you're trying to be completely hands-free or wanting them to fall asleep, you can really get their head tucked in nicely and you are ready to go. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is how straight these are. So you can kind of pull back if you didn't do it super straight before. You can fan this out for warmth or to spread out the support or you can just really pull it up. But if you have it too tight and too like roped, it might start to dig into you after a while. So making sure that it's fanned out uh, like that is fine. I throw this on really quickly all the time with the thing super twisted and all kinds of whatever, just gonna run into Target or whatever. But if I'm gonna go on like a whole day outing at like a theme park or something, I'm gonna make sure these are flat and it looks nice and beautiful. Not only does it look better, it's gonna keep from like digging in and like spread that support out. But you should have this X on the back here. So there's lots of different kinds of wraps beyond just brands, there's different styles. There's the woven wraps, which are a little bit sturdier, great for colder weather, a little bit heavier of a kid can be worn, and those are safer to wear on the back. I prefer the knit wrap because it gives you the freedom to kind of tuck your baby in their head. You can't tuck a baby's head into a woven wrap, so you feel like you have to uh, hold their head a lot more, which still gives you some freedom, but if you're bending over, their head will bobble but with a knit wrap, you can really just tuck their head in like that. And of course there's the carriers with all the buckles and things that might be better for hiking or if you just can't get the wrap, maybe that's an option for you. But I hands down prefer the knit wraps. It brings so much support and brings that baby close in a way that I love. So I have three main wraps that you've seen in this video. This is the Boba. This is my main wrap that I go to most of the time. I love this wrap. It's uh, really, really stretchy. I could put my three-year-old in here if I wanted to just because of how stretchy it is. Uh, it's sturdy, it gives a lot of support. Boba's run on Amazon from like 45 to $50. There's not a ton of color options, but there is more than just gray. And the Boba wrap comes with just a little carrying bag that kind of rolls up and you can throw it in a backpack or in the back of your car or whatever. <laughs> Which is why I have multiple wraps to begin with because I always have the wrap in the wrong place. Like if I am at church or at work, the wrap is at home. Or if I'm going into a store, the wrap is at home. But if I'm at home, I left it in a car and my husband is away with it or something. So I now have a wrap I keep at my house, a wrap I keep in my car, and then a wrap that floats around all over the place. So this is my newest wrap. My friend Zena just bought this for me as a gift because um, she heard me complaining about how my babies are hot natured. And this is the Soli wrap, which first of all, it is so soft, which maybe it's just cause it's new, but it is really soft and it is so lightweight and breathable. Like you can, you can basically like kind of see through it. You can see my arm there. And this is great for sweaty babies, which it is December. So not fully using this like a lot yet, but I've tried it. I've used it a couple times and I really do love it. It's not nearly, if I pull on this, it's not nearly as stretchy as the boba. Like the boba I, is so, hey microphone. The boba is so stretchy. So it was a little bit of a learning curve for me because I'm so used to how I tie this. I had to learn to tie this a little lower, do things a little different because it has less stretch. But I do really like this and I think it's gonna be so great this summer for my sweaty babies. The only thing I don't like about the Soli Baby is it is one of the higher price points, but get you good friends that buy you good things. <laughs> um, I do love that this has the built-in bag also because uh, I never keep up with those little bags. So very, very into that self-contained little thing there. 
All right, this is the Soli Baby, the more lightweight one. And this one has a lot less give to it. So you have to tie it looser to make sure, cause it's not gonna stretch out for your baby. But it's the exact same wrap. So here's an opportunity for you to see it again. You come across your stomach. And again, this one I'm gonna be a little bit lower cause I can't tighten it up high. So you come across that middle tab. Mine's maybe right this far above my belly button. And then you're gonna take it, trade hands in the back. And I honestly usually just, do it like this, but if you want to do the wings and make sure it's all spread out so you're not bulging in anywhere, it's not digging into you, take it through there again. And I've crossed it here again, just simple X going around again, tying it off in the front. And now hopefully see that this is a lot looser because it's not going to stretch as much when I go to put her in it. Ready to go. But you can see what I mean here. This is already starting to dig in a little bit. And I will say it is way worse with the solely baby wrap because it's not as forgiving. It's not as stretchy. So I definitely would encourage you to do the fan wing arms versus just tying it in knots like I did. Um, I tie it in knots with the boba, but for the solely, you need, you need it to be flatter so it's not stabbing you, right? And this one, I have no idea what brand it is, but it is obviously a boba knockoff. It's more of like a polyester, kind of similar to this as far as stretch, but it's definitely not breathable. Um, it is, it has a label. Let me see it. It is a, a Jero Ray. It has a whale on it. Some just generic brand, but I really like this. And like I said, I keep this like in my trunk or my car or whatever in case I forget one of these. I always have one of these when I'm out. And I bought this for $15 at Once Upon a Child. I cannot recommend Once Upon a Child enough, which as long as you're washing it, give it a good rinse, hot bleach cycle, who cares? All right, this is my generic one. I'm gonna show you now one that you can breastfeed your baby. Same thing you Put the middle across your stomach. Trade hands in the back. Bring the wings up over your shoulders like a backpack. And then you're going to put them through. Make the X here. Get it the right kind of tightness you want. Make the X across here. Trade hands in the back again and tie it off on the front. Now, this is where you would just put your baby in like normal, but if you're gonna breastfeed, so if I'm gonna feed over here on this side, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it in half. So I'm gonna put these two together so it makes a little sleeve. So now I have a nice fold all along this side and I have an opening here. So I have a fold all along this side and my opening here. And I'm gonna try to get that all the way down. Okay, now I'm gonna take my baby, she's three months old, and I'm gonna put her inside. I can get my hair out. <laughs> I'm gonna put her inside this fold. So I'm gonna pin it down this side. Make sure it's pulled up well. Pull this down over my shoulder. Now, this other backpack sleeve that I would normally lace her other leg through, I'm gonna put under her for support. Just the same. And then I can pull this up as well for an additional support, especially if you have a newborn, but wild feet make it a little harder. She's looking, she's hungry. She knows, she knows the position. And if you have on a button down shirt, <laughs> she's mad because she wants to feed. Uh, if you have on a button down shirt or a shirt, you well, usually I just wear a tank top or a nursing bra and you can feed your baby just in there like that and you're completely covered. Now I'm gonna go feed my baby. 
Anyways, that's all the things I have about baby wearing. I love baby wearing. I would love to help you love baby wearing if that's something you are into. So if you have more questions, let me know. And I am so grateful that you checked out this video. Loves, just sleeping in there. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video and I will catch you next time.